Hi Pisces, I'm G1 Rider with G1 Insights and this is your love extended mini reading, okay? Your extended mini love reading <laughs> for the month of April 2020. So Pisces, my whole thing is, right, when I did everyone life and love energy, I feel like spirit wanted me to share just a bit more and time was really consuming, man, like it really took a lot out of me to try to pull everything off because I've been so busy in the month of March. And I feel like I owe it to everyone to do this. So I'm super excited to see what the universe has for you in regards to love. Okay. So let's look into this. All right. Here we go, Pisces. So. Some of you could be in a position where you, if you're not currently doing this, and this could have been something you were doing, like avoiding a particular person, maybe someone had been trying to express their love to you, trying to come back to you, and maybe you have been like, nah, I'm good, you know, um, pushing people away. I don't want to do this right now. I don't want to talk about it today. Call me tomorrow. Maybe I'll feel better. <laughs> Okay, avoiding some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation when it comes to love. Avoiding this particular person in general, you know. And I feel like you're doing that because you don't want those old feelings to come back up to haunt you, right? Um, I feel like a lot of you are even possibly still holding some type of resentment against someone in particular, okay? There could be you feeling like this person may have crossed boundaries or hurt you in a way that is it's kind of hard for you to kind of get over just like that okay but there's definitely some boundaries being crossed and this could even be something that you did to the person maybe the person is feeling like um nope i don't want to talk to you right now pushing you away not wanting to deal with you not wanting to talk to you avoiding conversation with you okay but let's look a little deeper into it okay the runner so guys in twin flame energy we have someone that is called the runner or the chaser and you have to decide pisces am i the runner or am i the chaser have i been chasing this person or avoiding this person running away from this person okay so this could be a lot of you that could be tied up in some type of codependent relationship, okay? Fear of intimacy. Maybe you're avoiding this person because you do want this person in all reality. A lot of times when we're avoiding things, it's because we, we don't want to deal with the reality of something, okay? So maybe you have this deep fear of intimacy or you have this fear of like, you know, if I give you my heart, you might leave me like the last person did, you know? But... You have to stop listening to your ego because it's causing you to run away when you should be doing the chasing, okay? And again, this could be either or. It depends on what's in your birth chart, but for a lot of you, you are running away from the situation or this person or this particular issue that you guys need to discuss, okay? Oh, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Okay, making healthy choices. You know, so this energy for you is literally about, you know, Making the right choice, you know, in love and in life, even with self-care, self-love, being happy, you know, and you can't be happy if you're constantly trying to avoid something, if you're constantly trying to run away from something. And guys, I know what that is like, and not just in love, but even in life as well, you know, and I remember getting my heart broken for the very first time. It was devastating you know because it was like well yeah I want to date again but if you don't act like this person I don't want it you know like I was literally afraid of like something different something beyond me I was afraid of that you know and I had to give it a second thought what if I did date or do something a little different beyond me what if I did date someone who's nothing like this other person? You know, I wonder how my life would change. And I will be the first to tell you that my life did change in a dramatic way because I made the choice to say, 
I deserve better. I'm not going to stay in a situation that makes me totally uncomfortable because I'm afraid to do something. And, you know, I feel like for a lot of us, Spirit is teaching us not to be afraid this season, to go out and get what we deserve, to go out and get what we want, you know? So, Pisces, if there's anything that you desire in the love zone, whether this is romance, whether this is more time with family or friends, you know, it is all yours, and you have to believe that, okay? I know that a lot of people, when they think of romance, they immediately think of, like, a significant other. But romance can literally be a time where you're romancing yourself, taking yourself out, practicing that self-care, self-love, you know, wine and dining yourself, pampering your own self, going to a spa, you know, those type of things. If you can't go to a spa, buy you a foot spa, you know, just sit at home and really begin to just pamper yourself because you owe it to yourself, Pisces. That is what I'm feeling, okay? So for those of you that may feel like, well, I don't want to talk to this person right now, that might be okay, you know, but for some of you, you are in a position where you need some really serious, deep healing, okay? Let's move forward. I don't want to stay too stuck on that topic. So, stability and security means everything to you right now, okay? And I think that as you begin to open yourself up to be more happier and to practice that self-love and to practice self-care and to make healthy choices in relationships, okay? Meaning, I'm not going to just choose the people that I'm attracted to physically. I'm going to choose someone who really, truly match my soul. I'm going to be with someone who really understands me on so many levels because I don't need someone that I'm just attracted to physically. I need to know that spiritually we here, you know, like we understand each other. So even if I am being afraid of intimacy at the moment, it's because I've been hurt, you know, but I'm ready to be happy. I'm ready to be happy. So that means I'm going to focus and I'm going to take a lot of time on building my own self-esteem up. Getting my own self-confidence together. I'm going to work on that mental stability. That physical stability. That sexual stability. That, oh my God, guys. I'm telling you, you guys are really, really seeking like some type of transformation and endurance. And you guys are in the perfect position to to, sorry, like you guys are in the perfect position to actually earn that. I feel like you guys earned that right because you've been through so much lately. And so it's interesting that even when I did your life and love energy, it talked about, you know, that same similar type of energy where it's like, I, I don't want to deal with you right now. I'm trying to do big and better things. I can't move forward with you always hanging around or calling me, trying to talk to me. Or, you know, and, and this person could be, again, guys, this can be either or energy, okay? Because somebody is the runner in this relationship. When it comes to twin flame energy, somebody is definitely the runner. And I don't know if this is you running from the problems or this is this person not wanting to deal with the situation at hand, okay? But somebody is definitely avoiding this, this conversation that needs to happen. It needs to happen. Pisces, please be willing to open your heart. You know, I spoke to Scorpios about this as well, okay? Open your heart, okay? Don't be afraid to show that vulnerability. Don't be afraid to let it be known. Look, I am in love with you. I'm just afraid right now. I'm dealing with some stuff. It's hard for me to get over my past. You know, my ex really hurt me. Like, really, really be patient with yourself, okay? Let's see what your soul needs to know or what your soul is yearning for, my love, okay? Wow, okay. No more holding grudges. It's time for you to be happy. No more holding grudges. No more lying. No more, you know, sitting around waiting for the good times to roll in. We're not doing that anymore, okay? We're not going to sit here and just talk about our ex and how bad of a person they were and how they could have gave, gave you all the love in the world but they were too busy doing whatever else. Like, this is not the time to talk about that, okay? And if you miss that person, maybe you need to reach out to that person and give them a call and say, listen, we need to talk, okay? So let's see what Spirit has for you. 
health. Wow, that's interesting. This is interesting considering that healthy choices came out as well, okay? Healthy choices, my love, okay? Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier, okay? I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul, okay? So that means I'm going to honor everything that makes me feel good, that makes me feel uplifted, whether that is food, whether this is sex, whether this is me exercising, having a conversation, I'm going to find that, that, that place where I can be fully liberated again, where I can be content and be well satisfied and happiness will return to me. I'm going to get back to that place. It's good for my mind. It's good for my mental. If I don't focus on that healing and forgiveness, it cannot happen. Okay? It cannot happen. You have to forgive yourself, Pisces, for this situation that happened and it didn't work out the way you thought it was going to work out. My love, you can no longer point the finger at yourself. And I'm not saying point the finger at the other person, but what I'm saying is that somebody here needs to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, is what I am saying. Because you deserve to be able to be in a place where you can move forward without condemnation. Okay? Pisces, I love you, and I wish you the best. Please subscribe. I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. Thank you for watching. Please share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message. Okay? Guys, stay stable, secure, and happy, and satisfied. And I will see you guys in May. I'm super excited to see what the universe is bringing toward you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again. I love you, Pisces. Have a good one.